mapapakinggan ang programang Know Your Bible. Alamin ang inyong Biblia. Hatid sa inyo ng World Radio International and is supported by Church of Christ. Narito na si Brother Daniel Oliva. Ngayon mga po mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, ito na naman ang programang Alamin ang inyong Biblia. Know Your Bible program at ito po sa inyo ng World Radio International through White Spare Road Church of Christ and West Monroe, Louisiana, USA. Inyo po lingkod na nagbibigay ng mensahe, Brother Dan Oliva. Ito na po ang third Sunday of the month of May, May 21, 2023, at ang ating pong paksa na pag-uusapan ay pinamagatan ko sa Wikiang Ingles, The Beatitudes, Challenges for Discipleship. At ang ating pong teksto, Tatlo lang po na blessed ang ating didiscuss. Matthew chapter 5, verses 3 to 5. Ito pong uh, programa ay marinig rin sa radyo, DWRA, Jim, a radio here in Baguio City, every Sunday from 5 to 6 in the morning. At ito po ay marinig sa Baguio, Binget, La Union, Pangasinan, Abra, and other places na abot mo ng signal ng Jim, a radio Barangay 92.7 FM At uh, simula na po natin ang ating pag-aaral So balit gusto natin bati ng ating mga kapatiran sa iba't ibang lugar Number one of course, I'd like to greet our main sponsor uh, Radio, World Radio International to White Sparrow Church of Christ in West Monroe, USA At nandiyan po si Brother Robert uh, Abels and of course Sister uh, Beverly Hobbs ang mga nagko-communicate po sa akin. We'd like also to greet our partners in Christian World Ministry, kapatid na Terry Dennis, Art Madlaing, James Kitoriano, John Jeffrey, and of course uh, kasama rin yan si Art Madlaing. Mga kapatiran sa buong Pilipinas, of course we'd like to mention our uh, former uh, co-sponsors, uh, Brother Narciso John Kaugera and his wife, Sister Dina, Ka, mga kapatiran din sa Canada, would like to greet uh, Brother June uh, and Sister Rose on the last one na nasa Canada, would like to greet uh, Brother Primo Rivera in Mindanao, would like to greet my sister in Zibu, Mandawi, Evelyn uh, Emperado, sa ang kanyang anak na si Neil Emperado, mga kapatiran sa Bacolod, uh, sa Iloilo, Arvin Tuanyo dyan sa Kapis, sa Brahman Dao, Kapis, si kapatid na Nards Tuanyo and his wife Bibing. And uh, mga kapatiran sa Pangasinan, we'd like to greet our brothers and sisters in Lingayin, Dumalandan, and all of the Pangasinan brothers and sisters. Napakarami kong communications dyan sa Pangasinan area. We'd like also to greet uh, our brothers and sisters abroad sa Jeddah, kapatid na Jonathan Sareno, Henry Katig, of course, Grace Tuanyo. Metro Manila Congregation, would like to greet Brother Emil Margar, uh, Rogelio Kawili, Reli Ibita, dyan sa Metro Manila Congregation. Napakarami rin po sila dyan. Would like also to greet our brothers and sisters in Bayumbong, Bert Branya, Ernesto Alcaldes sa uh, Cabarugwis, and of course, dyan sa Isabela, Biscaya, napakarami kong creations. Like also, greet our brothers and sisters ng Gillian Union, mga kapatiran sa buong La Union, kapatid na John Quinones, San Fernando, Ismael Gorti sa Bangkiray, uh, Jay, sa, dyan po sa, ano, sa isang part ng <laughs> La Union. And of course, would like to greet also many other brothers and sisters all over the world, all over the Philippines. Good morning to everybody. Sa mga kapatiran dyan sa South America, buenos dias a todos, hermanos e hermanas. Basahin po natin ang ating texto sa Matthew chapter, chapter 5, verses 3 to 5. Uh, ito po yung Beatitudes ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. The first Beatitudes that we are going to study is uh, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven number two blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted and blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth yun po yung ating mga teksto sa wikang ingles at sa Pilipino ay babasahin po natin sa Filipino version isa pong translation ito nang makita ni Jesus ang napakakapal na tao, umahon siya sa bundok. 
pagkaw po niya ay lumapit ang kanyang mga alagad at sila'y tinuruan niya ng ganito ang mga mapapalad. Mababasan po ito sa Lucas Kapitulo 6, talatang 20 hanggang 23. Number one, sabi ni Kristo, mapalad ang mga aba na wala nang inaasahan kundi ang Diyos sapagkat makakasama sila sa kanyang karyan. Yun pong isang translation. Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Sa ibang translation, ganito, mapapalad ang mga mapagtakumbaba sapagkat magiging kanila ang kahariyan ng langit. Mapapalad ang mga na hahapis o nagdadalamhati sapagkat aaliwin sila ng Diyos. At sunod, mapapalad ang mga maamo at sa ibang translation, mapagtakumbaba sapagkat tatamhoy nila ang ipinangako ng Diyos. And of course, in English, blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth. Yan po yung mga Pagbabasa natin sa wikang Ingles at sa wikang Pilipino. Now, talakayin na po natin ang ating baksa na pinamagatag kong The Beatitudes, Challenges for Discipleship based on Matthew chapter 5 verses 3 to 5. Mga pagpapala at ito po ay hamon sa pagiging alagad, disipulo, tagasunod o lingkod ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. The Beatitudes are actually a radically bold statement of Jesus' intent to establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. So ito pong sinasabi nating Beatitudes, mga pagpapala, ay matatapang na pananalita ng ating Panginoong Muso Kristo. Bold means radical, matapang, sapagkat ito ay sinabi niya sa kanyang mga alagad, napakaraming alagad, actually libo, at ang intensyon po, layunin ni Kristo, ay ipahayag ang pagtatatag ng isang spiritual na kaharian dito sa physical na mundo natin. Pero nung panahon na yun, ang expectation, ang inaasahan po ng mga tao nung si Kristo ay naparito sa lupa more, almost 2,000 years ago, ang expectation po ng mga tao ay magtatatag siya ng isang physical na kaharian. Katulad ng itinatang ni Haring David, ni Haring Saulo, and of course, the number one king during the time was King Solomon. Siya po yung hari na napakalawak ang kaharian, at siya yung haring napakayaman, hindi lamang sa pera, pati na rin sa asawa. Sapagkat sinasabi ng Biblia, si Solomon po, Haring Solomon, ay merong 700 wives pitong daan na asawa and 300 concubines so kung ito total mo po yun san libo lahat po yun to the disciples of Jesus Christ the heavenly kingdom will bring blessing to all of the peoples of the earth so yung itatatag na karya ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo ito po ang maghatid ng spiritual na kapayapaan spiritual na kalayaan sa mga gustong sumunod sa kanya. Bakit importante po yung kalayaan at kapayapaan? Sapagkat nung panahon po na ito, mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, ang Israel, ang bansang Israel, ang mga Hudiyo, ay nasa ilalim po ng kapangyarihan ng mga Romano, Imperyo Romano. At panahon ng Panginoong Sa Kristo, ang imperador noon ay, sabi nila, si Tiberius Caesar. Now, So sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga disipulo, mga alagad, the heavenly kingdom will bring blessing to all the peoples of the world. So ang expectation po, ang gagawin ng ating Panginoong Kristo sa pamamagitan ng kanyang karyang spiritual, ito po ay maghatid ng mga spiritual na pagpapala sa buong sanlibutan ng kapanahonan niya at of course hanggang sa ating kapanahonan. So yun po yung ibig sabihin, parang introduction po natin sa ating paksa na pinamagatan kong The Beatitudes, Challenges for Discipleship. Ang mga pagpapala, mga hamon para sa pagsunod sa ating Panginoong sa Kristo. Sapagkat hindi po basta-basa susunod tayo sa kay Kristo. Ano sabi ni Kristo sa Matthew 16.26? If you wish to become my disciple, you have to deny yourself Take up your cross and follow me. So, hindi po madali yung kalimutan mo yung sarili mo. 
baklayan mo yung sarili mong cross, hindi po literal na cross doon, at sundin ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Hindi po madali yan. So sa ating pag-aaral po sa amangang ito, pag-aaralan natin itong tatlong uri ng pagpapala sa wikang, uh, of course, English muna, at pagkatapos ay bibigyan po natin ng pagsasalin o translation sa wikang Pilipino. Number one, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Pinagpapala daw yung aba o mababa sa espiritu. In other words, uh, they feel that wala silang kayamanan sa espiritual na pamamaraan. So that's the idea there of poor in spirit because theirs is the kingdom of heaven. So ibig sabihin, yung mga mababa lang ang kalooban. Poor in spirit, mapagpakumbaba. Yung mga tao nagsasabing wala akong sariling kabutihan at katuwiran, yun po ang maaaring pumasok sa karian ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Spiritual na karian. In other words, hindi po pwede yung mayabang, mga palalo, mga mapagmataas sa kaharian ng ating Panginoong Diyos Kristo. Well, the word blessed comes from the Latin word biati or biatos which actually comes also from the Greek word makarios which actually means spiritually rich spiritually prosperous and spiritually happy so yung isang beatitude yung isang taong blessed siya po ay mayaman spiritually speaking siya ay masaya sa spiritual na pamamaraan yun po ang ibig sabihin nito Poor in spirit also means humble, mapagpakumba, mababa ang kalooban, the void of pride, wala pong kayabangan, wala rin pong tinatawag nilang self-righteousness. Hindi sa taong nagsasabi, ako ay punong-puno ng kabutihan at katwiran. It's always the person who says, I am a sinner. I, I, I need God. Yun po yung taong yun. So, poor in spirit, the best example po nito mga kaibigan at mga kapatid ay the publican in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 23 who prayed he would not even enter the temple and Jesus Christ said uh, his prayer was like this unlike the Pharisee who prayed I fast twice a week, I give alms to the poor, I'm a good person the publican or the sinner prayed like this God, have mercy on me a sinner Panginoon, Diyos ko, patawarin mo ako, makasalanan ako. Yun po ang panalangin ng tinatawag nating publican or tagakolekta ng buwis. Doon po sa Lucas chapter 18, verse 13. Now, sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, If you are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Magiging kanila ang kaharian ng langit. And what is the meaning of theirs is the kingdom of heaven? Uh, it says some translation, it says they will own or possess the spiritual kingdom or they will be a part of the spiritual kingdom. In other words, kung ibig mong makapasok sa kaharian ng Diyos sa kalangitan, at pwede na rin dito sa lupa, sa pamamagitan ng iglesia, kailangan you have to be poor in spirit, mapagpakumbaba, humble, not thinking of any kind of self-righteousness. Now, this is not referring to a physical kingdom when Jesus Christ returns on earth. Marami po ang nagsasabi, this is referring to a physical kingdom when Christ will return on earth. No, does not refer to a physical kingdom, but rather it refers to a spiritual kingdom. Doon sa Colossus chapter 1 verse 13, sabi niya, Apostle Paul, Jesus Christ has transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of His dear Son. Maglipa tayo sa, ka, sa kadiliman at naipasok tayo, nailipa tayo sa kingdom of light. The dear son, the light, kingdom of light. Yun po yung kaharian ng Panginoong Maso Kristo. Therefore, only the poor, the humble in spirit can be and will be in the kingdom of heaven. So yung makapasok lang. Pwedeng makapasok sa spiritual na kaharian ng Panginoon whether it's in the church today or in the future in heaven, ay yung mga mababa ang kalooban. Humble, hindi mapagmataas, hindi palalo, hindi nagkakaroon ng tinatawag nilang self-righteousness. Yun po ang maaring pumasok sa karyan ng langit. Kung pwede rin sa iglesia dito, pwede rin doon sa eternal kingdom of heaven of Christ. Now, let's go to the second one. 
Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Ano po yung sabi ng Panginoong sa Kristo? Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Anong klaseng pagdadalamhati? Pagiging malungkot. At kung ikaw ay palaging nagdadalamhati, sabi ng Panginoong sa Kristo, ikaw ay aaliwin. Now, this is not referring to physical comfort, but rather it refers to spiritual comfort. Those people who mourn are those people who cry for, are not those people who cry for their departed loved ones. So, yung mourning dito, ang ibig sabihin, hindi po yung umiiyak, nagdadalamhati, kapag may kamag-anak o mahal ka sa buhay na namamatay. Hindi po yun ang ibig sabihin dito. But the idea here of mourning is to mourn for their sins. And the word comforted means to be forgiven. So pag tayo po ay nagdadalamhati, we are sorry for our sins, the Lord will be willing to forgive us and will give us spiritual comfort. Spiritual comfort means napatawa tayo sa ating mga kasalanan, kahit ano pang uri ng kasalanan, basta serious and honest ka na gusto mong lumapit sa Panginoon, ikaw ay patatawarin. Because sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, I will remember your sins no more. Okay? Now, guilt can bring one depression and feeling of unforgiveness. So, ikaw, pag guilty ka, pag sinasabi mong makasalanan ka, may ibang mga tao, they are not willing to forgive themselves. Hindi nila mapatawad yung sarili nila. Ano pong nangyari kay Judas Iscariot? And Judas Iscariot betrayed Christ and then he found out that he betrayed an innocent person and then he returned the money to the Pharisees and to the priests but the Pharisees and the priests would not receive his money and so they bought a field of blood or a lot and they called it Akeldama in uh, Salatang Aramaic which means the field of blood but Judas who became so sorry so sorrowful that he would not return to Christ and to God instead of repenting with a sorrowful repentance and a godly repentance, he killed himself. So, yun po ang ginawa ni Judas. So, guilt can bring one depression and feeling of unforgiveness. So, yun po nangyari kay Judas. Yun po ang ginawa niya. Instead of forgiving himself, he committed suicide. Pinatay niya po ang kanyang sarili. So, it's against the law of God. When you kill yourself, sabi ng Old Testament, you shall not kill. So, you shall not kill. Thou shall not kill. Thou shall not murder. Kasama po yung sarili natin doon. We have no right to end our life. Why? Because God was the one who gave that life. And according to Hebrews 9.27, For it is appointed for man to die once, and after that the judgment. Who gives the appointment? Sino po ang nagtatalaga ng kamatay ng tao? Of course, God. So, kung siya ang nagbigay ng buhay, siya rin po ang may karapatan kunin ang buhay na yan. And of course, when man commits suicide, he takes his, uh, his life, he commits suicide, he kills himself, wala pong kaligtasan yan. Because sabi nun sa Old Testament, you shall not kill yourself or you shall not murder, you shall not kill. Kasama yung sarili po natin dan. Because we do not have the right to end our lives. Only God according to Hebrews 9.27. So, when you forgive yourself, when God forgives you, it brings comfort, peace of mind, and rest in our souls. So, pag pinatawad po natin yung ating mga sarili, and of course, others also, ano pong nangyari? We become comfortable. Medyo magaan sa ating kalooban, kakaroon po tayo ng peace of mind, kapayapaan sa ating mga pag-iisip. And according to Jesus Christ, we will have rest for our souls. Magkakaroon po tayo ng kapayapaan sa ating mga pag-iisip kaluluwa. According to uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30, nung sabi ni Kristo, Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So, come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. Lumapit kayo sa aking mga nabibigatan, na kakaroon ng problema, at kayo ay bibigyan ko ng spiritual na kapahingan. Of course, it's not only spiritual, it could be psychological, it could also be emotional, 
mental kind of rest. So, nandun doon na po lahat yun. When Christ said, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me for there shall be rest into your soul. Sabi ng ating Panginoon sa Matthew chapter 11 verse 20 to 30. So, therefore, the idea of mourning for one sins is the opposite of pride of self righteous attitude of worldly people. So, kapag tayo po ay nagdadalamhati nalulungkot sa ating mga kasalanang nagawa, ito po ay opposite, kabaliktara ng pride, kabaliktara ng pagiging palalo, pagiging mayabang, and pagiging self-righteous. Sinasabi natin, wala naman ako nagawang kasalanan, I am always a good person. Ayaw ng Panginoong Diyos yan. Mas maganda ang Panginoong Diyos, gusto niya, person does not have pride, person will not have self-righteous attitude, but rather, opposite to that, there should be humility. There should be idea of being poor in spirit. And there should also be mourning or being sorry for our sins. Yun pang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa beatitude niya. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Number three, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Pinagpapala ang mga maamo sapagkat mamanahin nila ang lupa. Ito po ay being misinterpreted by many religious groups. Particularly, alam niyo po kung sino yan. Yun po yung mga pupunta sa mga bahay-bahay, house to house. May pinamimigay po sila mga babasahin. Hindi ko nababanggitin kung sinong grupo yan at anong mga babasahin. Sa palagay ko, alam na ninyo yan, mga kaibigan at mga kapatid. Pero ito mga taong ito, sinasabi nila lang kapag ikaw raw ay maamo, lalo na pag miyembro ka sa kanilang sekta o grupo, mamanahin mo po yung lupa. Yung lupa na ito, hindi lamang yung physical na lupa, kundi yung kayamanan na narito sa lupa, mga bahay, mga malalaking gusali, malalaking lupain. Yun po ang kanilang taliwanag o interpretasyon which is actually a very very wrong interpretation because Christ was not referring to a physical inheritance when he said blessed are the poor and spirit for they shall inherit the earth the earth here is a representation of the riches in heaven ano sabi ni Cristo lay not for yourselves treasure on earth where moat and rust and where thieves can break in, but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. For there it will not get lost, it will not be stolen, it will not be eaten by moth and rust, rust rather. So, ibig po sabihin ng meat dito, hindi po physical na meat, kundi spiritually meat. What is the meaning of spiritually meat? Maamo. The word meekness means actually a person who is harnessed spiritual person who is disciplined, a person who is domesticated. Para pang mga hayop, pag nadisiplina mo, naturuan mo yung mga hayop, kahit mabangis yan, kahit leon yan, o kahit tigri yan, they become harnessed, they become disciplined, they become domesticated. So spiritually speaking, a person who is also meek is a person who is spiritually harnessed, he is a spiritually disciplined person, and he's also a spiritually domesticated person. He is submitting himself to God. Siya po ay subject sa ating Panginoon Diyos. So makikita natin, sometimes animals are easy to train than people. Uh, ang mga animals, mga dogs and cats and other kinds of pets, they are easy to be trained. Kung mayro kang uh, abilidad, mayro kang pamamaraan, you can train any kind of animal, even the lion. <laughs> Even an elephant, pwede lahat yan. Because God gave man the dominion. You can control everything here on earth. Sabi ng Panginoon sa Genesis chapter 1, You shall have dominion over all creation. Ayun sabi ng Panginoon Diyos kay Adam and Eve. So, a person who is harnessed, a person who is well-disciplined, and a person who is just domesticated, is a person who could be considered meek. And what shall in near it? It's not only the physical earth, but it is actually heaven and earth. Because according to Second Peter chapter three verse ten, God will destroy this physical earth. All the works that are in will be burned with fire. So in the 
na ang physical na earth lang ang mamanahin ng mga sumusunod kay Kristo. Inheriting the earth therefore is a misconstrued uh, which means possessing the literal earth when Jesus returned. That is actually a very wrong teaching. As disciples of Jesus are disciplined, harnessed, they will rule the earth, so to speak. So, figurative expression niya ng Panginoon sa Kristo, na kapag ikaw ay well-disciplined, well-harnessed, well-domesticated, you are a meek person, you will rule the earth. Ano ba yung ng rule the earth? You can figuratively rule the earth. In other words, yung mga disiplinado, mga tao, sila po ang may respeto. Sila po ang magiging leader ng mga tao dito sa mundo, especially in the church or in the kingdom of God. Well disciplined ka, katulad ng mga sundalo. So that's the idea there. Meekness sometimes can be equated with wisdom. Ano sabi ni Santiago? James 1.25 said, If any one of you lack wisdom, let him ask from God. So yung pagiging meek, pagiging maamo, hindi basta-basta dumarating yan sa isang tao. It takes time, discipline, study, and of course, prayer from the Lord, which the Lord will give us through His grace and through His love and through the wisdom. For James said, James 1.5, any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to men liberally. So, abundantly ang ibig sabihin nun. God gives wisdom for people who ask for them and of course, you have to work for them also. Hindi naman biglang dumarating yung wisdom na yan. So, inheriting the earth here can also refer to inheriting eternal life. Ano sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo sa Revelation chapter 2 verse 10? Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. Corona ng buhay. Putog ng buhay. So, what we are aspiring brothers and sisters here on earth is not a physical earth but rather it's a spiritual heaven, a spiritual earth which the book of Revelation says, chapter 21 verses 1 to 8, you can read there the idea of spiritual heaven spiritual earth the new heavens and the new earth is not actually this physical earth if God destroyed the earth during the time of Noah by water According to the Bible, book of 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10, God will destroy this physical earth by fire when He comes again. We do not know when. So we have to be ready all the time because we do not know when Christ will return. We do not know also when the Lord will end our physical life on earth. So as a conclusion, brothers and sisters, as we conclude our lesson for this morning, the Beatitudes, sometimes I would call this beautiful attitudes. Bakit beautiful attitudes? Magagandang panukala, magandang kaisipan, magandang mga pamamaraan ang pamamuhay sa pagsunod kay Kristo. So I would call this beautiful attitudes and actually these are what you call the formula of Jesus for successful discipleship. As I mentioned a while ago, Matthew 16 verse 26, ano sabi ni Kristo? If you want to follow me, you have to deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. So, hindi po madali ang sumunod kay Kristo. Why? You have to deny yourself. Hindi mo una yung pansarili mo. Ano pa? May dadalhin kang cross. Hindi po literal na cross na dinadala ng mga tao kung minsan kung darating yung Semana Santa nagdadala po sila ng literal na cross. Nagpapapako pa nga yung iba. That is not a literal cross. In Jesus Christ said, you come and follow me. Hindi po madali ang sumunod kay Christ. Christ does not mean we have to die on the cross, but Jesus Christ saying, follow my example of humility, follow my example of love, and follow my example of faithfulness to God. Yun po ang ibig sabihin ng Christ. So as Jesus Christ, according to John 16, 30, Jesus Christ said, I overcame the world spiritually by conquering people's heart. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. How did Jesus overcome the world? Well, He did not overcome the physical world during His time, but He overcame the world spiritually by conquering the hearts of people, winning people's heart and minds, and willing to serve Him and follow Him and love Him. 
So ano pa sinabi ni Apostle Paul? Romans chapter 8 verses 7, the Apostle Paul said, We are more than conquerors. Not anything can separate us from the love of Christ, not even angels, not even things on earth or things in heaven. Because we are more than conquerors, according to the Apostle Paul in Romans 8.37. Tayo po ay mga winners. Tayo ay mga champions in spiritual things. If we follow Christ and if we have the beautiful attitudes, we are humble, we are meek, and we mourn for our sins. Ano pa sabi ni Apostle Paul? 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, Every thought and imagination must be made captive to Christ. Ang gusto ng Panginoon, to be humble, to be meek, to be mourning for our sins, we'll be able to bring all thoughts, imagination, and be captive, submitted to Christ. So yun pong ating layunin. Dalhin ang mga pag-iisip, filosofiya, na subject under sa kapangyarihan ni Kristo because Christ said in the book of Matthew chapter 28 verse 18 all authority and power in heaven and on earth has been given to me so si Kristo po ang dapat mamuno siya ang dapat maging king siya ang dapat maging hari ng mga hari dito sa mundo spiritually speaking of course so sa ating pong paglatapos to be truly spiritually happy And to be rich spiritually, you have to be, number one, poor in spirit. So, yun po yung ina-apply natin yung lesson natin. So, para tayo maging masaya, spiritually speaking, para maging mayaman tayo, spiritually speaking, ano sabi ni Kristo? We have to be poor in spirit. Ano ibig sabihin ng poor? Magpakabababa, magpakababa, mag-isip na wala tayong sariling kind of righteousness, And thus, we should believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and we have to be baptized for the forgiveness of our sins and to be saved. Ano sabi niya sa Mark 16.16? Sabi na Kristo, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. Mark 16.16. Ano pa? Sabi niya Apostle Paul in Acts 2.38, Repent of your sins and be baptized to be forgiven and to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Ano pa? When is the acceptable time? Kung kayo po ay nakakaalam na, alam nyo na yung ibig nyo gawin, ibig nyo sabihin, if you have convinced listening to this word, to this message, and even the messages of others through Christ, ang mga kapatiran natin sa YouTube, sa Facebook, now is the acceptable time. If you are ready to accept Christ, today is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. Ano sabi ni Pastor Pablo? Ngayon na ang panahon. Ngayon na ang araw ng kaligtasan. So kung kao convinced, you have to follow Christ and let us help you by teaching more and of course bring you to Christ through baptism. Ano sabi ni Kristo? Bautihin natin yung invitation niya kanina sa Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Ano sabi ni Kristo? Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek, gentle, and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Yan po yung ating minsay, mga kaibigan ng kapatid, sa araw na ito, third Sunday of the month of May, 2023. Maraming pong salamat. God bless everybody. Those who have uh, listened, those who have heard and those who have viewed this message through our YouTube, through the radio. We thank you all. Thank you also for this radio station. Thank you for the YouTube, Facebook, and all things, all media that help in the propagation of the pure gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you for the message. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the message. We thank you for the Bible. We thank you for all the writers of the Bible, especially the New Testament. Thank you for the station. We thank you for all the people helping and propagating this gospel. Thank you for our sponsors, our partners, our listeners, our viewers, and everybody else who are listening to thy word. We ask the Lord to cleanse us from our sins. Bless the station. Bless the program. Bless the YouTube. Bless the social media that helps in propagating thy word. Please cleanse us from our sins as we also forgive those who trespass against us. Through Christ, we ask all these things, Lord.
Amen. Inyong napakinggan ang programang Know Your Bible. Alamin ang inyong Biblia. Hatid sa inyo ng World Radio International and is supported by Church of Christ.